So today we're going to have twice the fun in the kitchen because we have not one but two of our favorite guests with us, Neil Fuentes and Billy DeCrosta. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. you. You're looking gorgeous as always. Oh, I always say thank that. You, thank you. Thank you. That. Um, so this is the 50th episode. 50 you guys episodes. have been with us. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I can't believe it. Any standouts? You used to sing. You don't sing anymore. Um, no. Well, I sing with my band. You know that. Right. A, a lot. So which I will be singing very soon. But um, <laughs> I continue to cook. I continue to teach classes. So life is good. And he is here now. Yes, I'm which here. Is I'm good. not working so, today. They they gave me the day off today. So we're gonna put you to work in the kitchen. Yeah, that's absolutely. it. Neil put me to work instead. Absolutely, nice. absolutely. So we're making something called chupe. Chupe. For those out there who do not know what chupe is, chupe is a soup that is uh, original from Peru. Okay. And it's normally made with a shrimp. Okay. And basically the best way to describe it, I call it the Latin American chowder. Got it. So you can make it with shrimp, you can make it with several things. However, uh, my mother, when she, the first time I, I was in contact with chupe was when my mom made it and she made it with chicken. Okay. And it's actually after I figured out how she makes it, it's one of the easiest recipes ever. Well, we like easy here. I it's think it's All you have to do is just, I have here a pot of water okay. with uh, chicken that I cut off in little pieces and some scallions. That's, That's it. all These are I just did. whole scallions. You oh, just threw them whole, right in there? I just threw them in. You know how I cook. Okay. It's easy, it easy. So, and then once that is cooked, which is already cooked, I'm going to go ahead and grab the scallions. I'm going to take them out of here, right? Okay. Just like that. And to this, I cut up two potatoes in little dices. I diced it like this, and I'm going to put it right in there. Okay. And we're going to let this boil until the potatoes are nice and cooked. Got it. All right, and then while this is happening, and then we're going to go back to this, Bill is going to start showing you what he's going to do to eat with this soup. All right. This is going to be really fun. You're going to be able to dip it in after I it's done. Dipping. It's going to be very, okay. very good. Okay, it's kind of Italian, kind of French, all rolled in together. <laughs> so we took some very simple uh, puff pastry dough, and we cut it into some triangles, so they look like little pieces of pizza almost. And then we sauteed just to some simple garlic and oil with spinach. Okay. Real, real simple, and we chopped it up. Okay, and then we're going to take this bowl right here, and I've got about two tablespoons of ricotta cheese. Okay. Okay, we're going to scoop that in there. Add in about two tablespoons or so of Parmesan cheese. Where'd you come up with this recipe? Oh, you know, we're always creating something <laughs> around here. We get bored. We get okay. bored. We're always cooking okay. at home together and trying you know, to figure out how to... we work in restaurants. We eat the same things every day. We go home, we got to try to create. A little salt and pepper, simple, simple. <laughs> okay, and we're going to mix that up. I'm going to whip it up real quick for you here. And to help with the consistency just a little bit, we're also going to add in a little bit of egg. I whipped up one egg before that. Okay. We're just going to use a little bit of the egg because we're going to use it in two parts. So here's just about a half of the egg. I'm going to whip that in. Neil, you want to help me out and give yeah. me a little spinach? And what I'm and doing here, here, if you see, I'm, I'm kind of squeezing, draining, it out, draining huh? it out, draining all the oil out so because we don't want this to be saggy. Now exactly. the, just give we're going to put the spinach right there. Pour yeah. all of it. Uh, yeah, let's go. Pour all of it. That's Neil for you. Just throw it all just in. Just throw it all in there. <laughs> okay, that's it. it. It's ready to go. So all we're going to simply do is take a spoon and a little bit of our mixture. Ooh. Okay. We're going to, here, we'll take this out of your way here. We're going to pop it right here like this. It's going to be very simple. You're going to pinch it together at the end like this. Okay. Okay, and roll it up. Yep. Wow, you did that nicely. Voila. Voila. Simple. We'll do one more for you here. Let him do Pretty one more. Let's one more see if you can do it again, Billy. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I know. That's how I, what I say is to, on. This is what I say to him. How, well, you did one right. Now, let's see if you can, can do, do it, it twice. Again. It's not right. beginner's Don't you know here. I do everything right? That's what oh, Neil tells me. Carry on. <laughs> That's what the key I to a successful relationship. Billy is perfect. There you go. That's what I always say. Whatever you say. There you go. Done. Easy breezy. So, Billy, you roll these up. How long do you have to bake these for and at what time? We're going to put them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the type of oven that you have. We have okay. a convection oven, so it was only about 15 minutes in ours at home. And uh, we put it for about 420 degrees, but we're also going to just put a simple egg wash on it so it comes shiny, out nice right? golden brown. And we already made some, so we have it oh, here in the what oven. Oh, yeah, already have, done. So we have some here in the oven. Check oh, it out. They look fabulous. This is what they look like. Now, back to the soup. All right, we're about back two and to and the a half soup. Minutes. Right, what's one of we got? Back to the soup. Now, let's pretend my potatoes are all boiled and yes. nice and soft. I have something here called. Um, Queso butter? fresco, it's cheese, <laughs> oh, okay. it's not butter. <laughs> Have you ever seen butter like this that you can eat just like that? No. no. no? Okay. okay, this is like a, like a white cheese and it's very hard so it's not going to melt. So we're going to put it right in there. Okay. Right? The cheese is not going to melt. Mm -mm. Okay. We're going to put it right in there and then I have some sweet corn with the water and everything. Okay. Put it right in there, right? And then we're going to let it boil. And once it boils, we're going to grab a cup of milk mm -hmm. and we're going to put it right in there, right? And then... We're gonna grab all the cilantro, pretty much, and we're gonna throw it in there. You don't wanna cut that up nothing, or anything? And 
close it. <laughs> because that now is going to get infused with the cilantro flavor. All right. And there's the, you know, the final result is oh, right here. Fabulous. So there. the way you will serve this is you grab this soup. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at this. Chupe. Oh That's my God. Oh, I wish they could smell. Chupe. That smell is so, so good. good. So we're going to put a little bit of the soup right here, just like that. And then we're gonna accompany this with one of these beautiful croissants that Billy made. Look at you right two, quite here. the duo. There we go. Let's grab a spoon right there. Lunch is lunch is served. There huh? we go. And ladies Looks and gentlemen, good. that is a beautiful Peruvian, my mother's chupe. She'd be proud. She'd be proud. <laughs> She'd be All right, I'm gonna proud. taste this at the end of the show, guys. <laughs> Thanks Absolutely. so much. While the rest You're go welcome. over at WTNH.com. Always a pleasure. We'll see you at number 51, right? Absolutely, 51. <laughs> Up next, fitness expert Tom Holland shows us a total body workout using a stability ball. When style returns, don't go anywhere.